Two days to go before England play Uruguay in Sao Paulo. The last day of training here at Urca, their base in, in Rio, before they head to the biggest city in South America. Only 11 million people live there, it's not bad. Oof, it's bigger than London, crikey. Anyhow, more importantly, what sort of team are going to play? Well, I suspect they'll play the same team, but I think they will make a change. I think Rooney will go to the 10, behind Sturridge, which means Sterling will go out wide, right, where he's played most of this season for Liverpool, where he says, as he said in this room, it's his normal position, his natural position, where he can use his pace. We know that Uruguay are vulnerable at the back. We know they're vulnerable out wide. Pace, pace, pace. England have got it in abundance. Sterling is the crown prince, almost. He's the crowning jewel of that team. Because he's got something new and fresh and different and vital, he's got that real desire to play, and that's a massive thing for England. Sterling looked like a boy growing up when he sat in this room on Tuesday, no question about that. He's still a boy, he's still very young. But he's got so much potential. I think he could become one of the great England players over the next 10 years. He's got that in him. He's absolutely terrific. He loved this big stage on Saturday in Manaus. He's gonna love it even more. And guess what? You know that burning heat we've had? You know those horrible conditions? Temperature in Sao Paulo on Thursday, 13 degrees, siling it down with rain. It's like Skegness in October bit bigger, but let's be fair, anyone can play in Skegness, can't they? Martin Lipton at England's base for mirrorfootball.co.uk.